In Windows 11, there's multiple different ways to get into PowerShell. So I'm going to look at the different PowerShell options that you have. If we right click on the Start Menu button, we can see we have the option for PowerShell. And we also have the option for PowerShell Admin. Now, if we click on Admin, of course, we'll have to click Yes to allow administrator access. Now, if you're not an administrator, then it will go ahead and prompt you and ask you for the administrator password, which you'll have to enter there. Another way we can do this is by clicking on the search box and typing in PowerShell. And we can see more than just the regular PowerShell options. We can see the PowerShell app. We can see ISE, which allows us to do scripting. And then we have the option for 32-bit, which is called x86 for PowerShell x86, if you need to get into a 32-bit commandlet or script. Now, if you don't know what that is, then you're not going to need it. So don't worry about it. So if I click on the Windows PowerShell app, I can choose to open or run as administrator, just as I could if I right clicked. So I'll just go ahead and choose open and we can see it opens up right away. I'm going to choose the ISE again, but this time I'm going to choose the right click option on the start button and choose search from here rather than clicking on the search box. And here I'll type in PowerShell once again. And now I'm going to take a look at PowerShell ISE. Power app, rephrase. PowerShell ISE has loaded. It takes a few extra seconds to do that. And here is our scripts, and we can actually create new PowerShell scripts from this location. Off to the right, we see all the different types of commands that we can use. And at the top, we can see these buttons to make PowerShell work in different ways. We can show PowerShell on the left and scripting on the right. We can show scripting at the top and PowerShell on the bottom, or we can just show scripting. We can also open up PowerShell in a new tab, and there's other options here as well. Now, I'm not going to get into what PowerShell ISE can do because this is more about how to get into PowerShell. And I want to show you one more way how to do this. I'm going to click on the search box and type in CMD, which is the traditional command prompt. I'm going to choose to open that up and I can open up PowerShell by typing in PowerShell. And even though it looks like a black command box, you can see the PS next to the C colon backslash users, which means we're now in PowerShell. I thought that was it, but wait, there is more. If I click on the start button and I go into terminal, so I'll click on the applications by going to all apps and I'll go down to terminal or you could just do a search for it either way and we see Windows terminal right here and once again there's PowerShell so that is all the different ways you can open up PowerShell in Windows 11 if I missed any just go ahead and let me know and I'll add that to the video thanks yes I've been drinking no I haven't